What strength enabled this building to withstand the devastating force of the 921 Richter 7 scale earthquake of 1999 and still stand firmly? How much faith and determination was needed to complete a building in 10 years when it should have taken 30? What resolve and efforts made this new monument so exceptional as to be in league with the thousand-year-old Potala Palace and the great St. Peter's Cathedral? In 2001, Chung Tai Chan Monastery was inaugurated. At the dawn of the new millennium, this majestic spiritual landmark has placed itself on the atlas of the world. Now let us take you on a tour to discover the world of Chung Tai. As soon as we arrive at Chung Tai, we become deeply immersed in the wonders and subtlety of the Buddha Dharma. We can see that every aspect of the architecture reveals the transcendent spirit of Chan. At Chung Tai, the architecture harmonizes with the teachings of the Buddha. At the heart of the monastery is the Chan Hall that leads all people toward sudden enlightenment of their original nature. On either side of the building are the pilgrimage stairways, representing the Bodhisattva's gradual practice in perfecting the six paramitas, Buddha Halls, Pagoda, Mani Pearl. The perfection of Buddhahood is portrayed. Every corner of Chung Tai reveals Venerable Master Wei Chui's deep and compassionate aspiration in revealing the Dharma through external forms. The three gates to the main building represent the three virtues of Dharma body, Prashna wisdom, and liberation. On the doors, the unbroken carvings of Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha symbolize eternal presence of the triple gem in the world. In the Hall of the Four Heavenly Kings, a thousand-year-old Indian sandalwood stands as a sincere offering to all the Buddhas. The majestic 12-meter-high Heavenly Kings watch over the four directions. Their dignified bearing constantly remind all people, do no evil and perform all good. The Great Majesty Hall on the second floor enshrines the statue of the Shakyamuni Buddha. The manifested Buddhas and the Nimbas illustrate how the Buddha comes to this Saha world repeatedly to provide guidance out of his compassion. On either side of the main hall are the Sangharama Hall with guardians of the monastery and the Patriarch Hall, showing the Chung Tai's Dharma lineage. The Great Magnificence Hall on the fifth floor is the Lotus Realm of Buddha Congregations. The Bliss Body Rochana Buddha, with a thousand Buddha robe, sits on the thousand lotus platform. For each lotus is a billion worlds, each world with its own Shakyamuni. The hand-painted ceiling merges Taiwanese artistry with Dunhuang art forms, further reflecting the perfection and majesty of the Bliss Buddha land. 
Inside the Great Enlightenment Hall on the ninth floor, sitting beneath the starry night ceiling, is the virtuous and dignified Vairochana Buddha. His pure and opalescent body symbolizes the intrinsic pure nature of all beings. Directly outside the hall is the spacious Reality Terrace. On either side, designed by the Venerable Master Wei Tre, are towering Chung Tai Dharma staffs, each engraved with nine dragons entrenched in clouds and corresponding sutra text. The perfect mirror wisdom ring at the top of each staff signifies the progression from Hinayana to Mahayana Buddhism and the Chung Tai commitment to teach the reality of the middle way to the world. Entering the hall of 10,000 Buddhas, we become immersed in the Buddha's realm. The halos of these medicine Buddhas are made from optic fibers which emit light but not heat. In the center of the hall is the seven-story pagoda built from teakwood. Constructed without the use of a single screw or nail, it is now a rare traditional skill. Engraved on the outer walls of the pagoda is the Diamond Sutra. Enshrined inside are the seven medicine Buddhas and wooden carvings of the 500 Arhats. This pagoda is replete with the triple gem, the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. The enormous glass curtain windows are resistant to fierce winds and earthquake, able to flex to 43.9 centimeters of displacement under force. The on-framed panes of glass, like a clear mirror, allow the pagoda to be seen clearly from a great distance. On the first floor of the basement, a 50-meter-long mosaic tile fresco is a work of art with deep religious significance. Proposed by the Venerable Master, combining Hinayana and Mahayana records of the eight stages of Buddha's life into nine stages, which is unique at Chung Tai. The skillful inlay not only vividly portrays the Buddhist path to enlightenment, but also deeply impresses on the mind of the practitioner the compassionate deeds of the Buddha. In the Bodhi Art Gallery, the serene stone inscriptions of the sutras and the lively art demonstrations interweave to create a wondrous art banquet. The powerful yet graceful strokes from the famous painters and calligraphers promote the bilateral artistic exchange between Taiwan and mainland China. The stone inscriptions and calligraphy and paintings help preserve the essence of Buddhist art and culture. Through the appreciation of art, Buddha's wisdom gently infuses the thoughtful observer's mind. The conference halls on both ends of the building have housed several international symposiums. These activities offer a venue for experts of different fields to encounter and interact with Buddhism. Surrounding the majestic main building are three beautiful parks, Deer Park, commemorates Buddha's first turning of the Dharma wheel. Waling Garden is filled with seasonal flora. And Bodhi Park is graced with exquisite Buddhist statues. Venerable Master Wei Chui ingeniously applies the principle of one flower, one world, one leaf, one tathagata, in blending the Dharma with the beauty of the natural environment in order to facilitate inward cultivation through the surroundings. This allows all sentient beings at Chung Tai to realize that mountains and rivers are all wondrous manifestations of the Tathagata. From the construction of the main building to the landscaping of the parks, Venerable Master Wei Chue guided monastics and lay devotees to work and supervise together in harmony. The creative design and the technical innovations used in building Chung Tai Chan Monastery have earned it the International Award for Lighting Design in 2003 and Taiwan Architecture Award in 2002. This important edifice of Buddhism not only embodies religious ideals, it is also a treasury for culture and humanity.
This thriving Chan monastery not only embodies the Dharma with its architecture, but more importantly, it has a sagacious and visionary leader. He convenes the support of all the devotees and trains the Sangha by integrating scriptural studies, deeds of beneficence, and samadhi in order to preserve and perpetuate the Dharma. In the Buddhist Institute for Monks, students study attentively in adherence to the monastery's four tenets. To our elders be respectful, to our juniors be kind, with all humanity be harmonious, in all endeavors be true. Scriptural study is integrated with spiritual cultivation. To practice is to apply one's knowledge in every word and action. The hands and the keyboards will turn into future bodhisattvas with a thousand hands and a thousand eyes. They are learning to use modern technology to reach out and make a million incarnations to benefit all sentient beings in the future. In the Buddhist Institute for Nuns, students follow the guidance of director Venerable Master Wei Tre. Buddhism classes build the foundation and are complemented with classes in worldly knowledge. Classes include daily meditation sessions, fundamentals of Buddhism, and sutra studies. Buddhist liturgy and chanting training benefit celestial and human beings as well as promoting Buddhist harmony. On the more secular side, calligraphy lessons nurture the spirit. Buddhist art classes broaden knowledge. How about we say free? And <laughs> and English lessons expand the students' international vision. Through this sound and well-developed educational program, the Institute trains students to be all-around monastics with integrity, experience, and knowledge. The great Chan master Bai Chung proclaimed, a day without working is a day without eating. On the monastery's Merit Field organic farm, monastics are harvesting fresh vegetables. Each thriving patch of vegetables and each head of cabbage are part of the Sangha's field of merits. <laughs> 